Salam Chatra, a very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, I'm really, really pleased to be here. That's obviously the best slot of the day after lunch, right? Everybody is fully awake and energized. So I'm going to talk about uh, innovation. I was asked to talk about innovation, but uh, I'm going to talk about it more from uh, people's point of view. And uh, not only about people, but also from a very different angle. Uh, I'll talk about it also, how purpose and value can uh, help you to become a more innovative uh, company. And by becoming more innovative, you immediately become also more productive. Let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Alois Hofbauer, and I come from Austria. Now, I've been 21 years in Asia with Nestle. I'm 25 years within the company. And whenever I say I come from Austria, and you know, I've been many places in Asia, China, everybody says, I know. And usually they say, and I look at them, you really know? And they say, yeah, yeah, I have a cousin in Sydney. So I usually, I usually therefore start with that picture. Can you get the lights a little bit down? Can you, do, can you get the light down? So I think it's hard to, to see. I start with the pictures. There is absolutely no kangaroos in Austria, except in the zoo, right? So these are our kangaroos, and you see here, actually, it's big dogs, right, you know? So, uh, and uh, I've been here in Malaysia for five years. Uh, I'm heading uh, uh, Nestle Malaysia here. We just released our results. Uh, we are a publicly listed company. And uh, what I wanted to talk about is how can you actually look at uh, innovation from a very different angle than, uh, you know, usually you would do. And I'm starting off uh, with one slide to provoke you a little bit. I'm provoking you what has a bottle of chili to do with innovation. A bottle of chili, chili sauce, what has it to do with innovation? Let me show you a, uh, a very brief video, and then after that I'll try to explain. Can you shoot with the video, please? Daripada dulu, makcik susah. Disebabkan kerjasama PPK dengan Nestle lah, makcik ni mampu membuat rumah sendiri. Dulu, makcik ada motor je. Sekarang, makcik dah dapat beli kereta. Dan hasil kerjasama Nestle dan PPK ni, makcik para petani Cili tak susah lagi macam dulu. Bangun pagi, makcik tak payah fikir dah nak pasar ke mana-mana. Sebab Nestle dengan PPK tu akan ambil cili makcik. Makcik tunggu untung je. Sebab tu je rezeki makcik. Right. So uh, now, still, I don't think I have really answered the question. What does it to do with innovation? And what you saw here is their stories, their life circumstances have been a real input for our innovation. What is the innovation? Usually, when you're in the business of chili sauce, you're getting the chili from most likely the cheapest sources wherever you can get it from. A lot of the chili today sold in Malaysia comes from India. Some of them comes from China. They're big chili producers. But not everybody knows that the best chili in the world, and definitely the best chili in Malaysia, is coming from Klantan. So uh, what uh, we did is uh, we reinvented the way not only we supply our chili in the factory, but we reinvented the way we work together with the chili farmers. So today, we have over 100 uh, farming families in Klantan, uh, and they work together with us. We have been able to work together to improve the, uh, you know, the way they, they, they agriculture chili and so on and so forth. And this doesn't sound uh, a big thing for somebody living here, maybe Malaysia, but we were able to double their salaries from 150 to 330, and I think I could imagine that makes a big difference in a people's life. Now, not only, uh, obviously, they supply it to us, there is no contract which requires them, they must supply it to Nestle, 
they can supply to anybody. But because we are a regular customer of theirs, we work together with them, they tend to really work together with us on a long-term basis. When you actually go back uh, to these chili bottles, what you see on each and every bottle of chili, there's a picture, any bottle of Maggi chili sauce, there's a picture of one of these farmers. You can use your QR code, and what you can do is you will learn about their stories. Now, what is really revolutionary, from the farm to the task, when you uh, the basically it takes not more than 72 hours. And this is a revolution because usually you get the chili from and it can take months. This is the freshest chili sauce in the world. You can only be fresher if you do it yourself in the kitchen. It's a little bit more expensive for us, but it makes a lot of sense. Now, this is our uh, old chairman. He's now retired since a few months, Mr. Brabeck. And he said that for a company, and this is not only what he said, this is our philosophy, for a company to be successful in the long run, you basically need to create not only value for shareholders, you must create value for the communities you operate in. The Chili Club here is, uh, we call it the Chili Club, is only one example. We work on very different levels. We also have paddy clubs, uh, for example, where we get the paddy from Sarawak and uh, Kwantan, and they go in our products and so on and so forth. So, and this brings me, this brings me to, hop, next one. No, I think it got stuck. This brings me a little bit to Nestle Malaysia. For very, very short, I think most of you are Malaysians, I don't need to talk uh, too much and introduce Nestle Malaysia. Nestle Malaysia is in Malaysia for 105 years. 105 years. And um, we are a public listed company. Majority shareholding is with Nestle SA in Switzerland, but uh, we have almost 30% of the shareholding is with Malaysians, also institutions like EBF, etc. And uh, today we are one of the top 20 companies on Bursa Malaysia. Uh, we have a market cap of around 20 billion. That is uh, for our friends from overseas around 5 billion US dollars. Our turnover a year is over a billion. We are uh, the biggest halal producer in food and beverages in the region. We export to more than 50 countries uh, around the world. And I think I'm always very proud to say that every Malaysian knows, right? You know, obviously Milo is our core brand. Every day, every day, 8 million cups of Milos are consumed in a nation of 30 million. So that's quite a responsibility. So let me come back to uh, what I uh, showed at the beginning. Driven by purpose. Now I'm a big fan of, uh, maybe you heard about uh, Viktor Frankl, also another Austrian. And he says, once you have a purpose, you can endure anything. Or you can also put it more positively, you can achieve anything. And what we try to do is, we try to give a purpose to our people. And the purpose is actually very simple, right? Enhancing the quality of life, and contribute to a healthier future. And there's also a set of values, and all of our values come together to one simple word. The simple word is respect. Respect for yourself, respect for others, our suppliers, you know, our agencies, our consumers, respect for diversity. In our head office here in Malaysia, very close to here in uh, Menara Surian, we have today around 38 different nationalities working side on side, 38. Still, very important, 99% of our overall population in Malaysia is obviously Malaysians, right? 70% are Bumiputras, 25% is around uh, Chinese, and then 5% are others and Indians. And respect for the future. Now let me come back to the topic the innovation journey of, and I'm talking about here not Nestle globally, I really talk about Nestle in Malaysia, our innovation journey. We talked about purpose, we talked about values, they are the fundament. But obviously, you want to go into innovation, in the heart of everything you do is the Malaysian consumer. What do they need? What do they want? Where can we be better? What have we not satisfied today? 
And I have looked into some of the trends which we tend to build on. And there are three, actually four, I'll talk about today. One is called, and I never really can, uh, can pronounce it right, ins experiences, right? You know, what does it mean? Is actually you bring great experience from the outside to home. Like if you have a great experience in some mamak, you want to have the same kind of, uh, you know, product, same kind of offering at home. Uh, or a top-notch experience in a restaurant, or you want to personalize. The sen uh, second thing is authenticity. It's about really today more about clean labels, you know, no contaminations and so on. We'll talk about that one and healthy lifestyles. Very important is also, I will talk about one which uh, for me is so important in today's digital world, innovation beyond product. Now, I think there's a lot of HR people in this room. And uh, my friend uh, Bill, Bill Fisher, I think you had him in the morning, right? You know? Uh, we had always, uh, we work actually a little bit together with IMD and I know Bill quite well. In the center of innovation, it's not technology. It's not all the money you spent, right? If money would make the difference, my God, you know, some of the biggest companies in the world, Nokia, Kodak, wouldn't have failed to innovate. It's really the mindset. It's really uh, to create a culture of innovation. So, I arrived here in 2013, and uh, we do every year, we do a survey with all our 5,000 employees. And at that time, when we did the survey, it was very shocking. When we talked about, what do you think is the innovation drive, the innovation culture in Nestle? And they said, look, we are slow, we are far away from the consumers, bureaucratic, we are a dead boring company. And that's brutally honest. This is, by the way, an anonymous, you know, <laughs> so people don't need any, any so it was, was really something which was worrisome, very worrisome. Now let me also explain, Nestle is the biggest company in the food and beverage space, but, and it's very, very, you know, uh, an approach which I would say comes from the roots of our company being a Swiss company, we are very decentralized in many, many, many areas still. Which makes a lot of sense because you have to understand we are in food and beverage and what is more local than local cuisine, local tastes. Even you go from the north to the south in Malaysia, it's already different, right? So uh, we are very, very local in many areas uh, of uh, innovation. Yes, we also have global products, global brands, Nespresso, for example, George Clooney, maybe you remember. But uh, when it comes to, uh, like, Maggie, Maggie is a real, genuine, local Malaysian brand. It's obviously ob available in more plant countries, but it's very, very, very Malaysian. By the way, even the Milo, I talked about it, tastes different in Indonesia, in Australia, and Malaysia. And we all know, and every Malaysian tells me, there is only the best Milo is coming from Malaysia, right? <laughs> so... So, okay, we started off and we said, how can we turn it around? How can we make our own employees really innovators? And this photo is very, very telling because these are five ladies, uh, five of our employees, and we created an innovation challenge for Maggie. And we said, look, why do we need to go out and spend all the money to do all this research? Let our people tell us what new flavors of Maggie noodles Malaysians love. And they came out with all these flavors, we marketed them, and they were a success. So it started all with this. And it reassured us that our people, they really want to be innovators. But you have to give them a platform to innovate. So we started, uh, that was now three years ago, we started an innovation award, innovation challenge. Everybody, everybody, from the factory plant worker to the secretary to the salesman can bring in their innovation idea. And uh, our innovation manager, Christoph, is here, and later on you can ask him. What we do is, it's not good enough you have an idea. You have to come in with an innovation business proposal. It's a one-pager. And you have to think about it, uh, how do you eventually manufacture, 
what could be the market, and so on. Now, you'll say, wow, this sounds good if you're a marketing person. How do I do this if I'm a factory worker? We send to every factory these innovation teams. They sit together with them. They help them to formulate. They put in a piece of paper and then submit. This year, and we started off small. We had a, a hundred people participating. But also, I think what we did rightly, we gave them a real nice incentive. The winner, 10,000 US dollars, plus, plus serious business, plus business class tickets to Europe, visit our head office, and so on and so forth. So we started off with a few hundred, uh, few hundred uh, in the beginning. We just finished uh, the first wave this year for 2017. We had 1,170 business innovation, actually, proposals. 1,000. What we do is we screen it down, screen it down, screen it down, different criteria. At the end of the day, we have five big winners. There's the consolidation prize, and we usually have a sort of an expert panel, and we have a popular vote. So the popular vote is all our Nestle employees, they get the idea, and they can give in their vote. So last year, the popular vote was given to a young gentleman from a Kuching factory. We have a factory in Kuching. And it was an amazing story because, uh, you know, uh, he created a new Milo product. Because a little bit of confidentiality, I can't tell you all about it, right, you know? <laughs> because we may launch it very soon. But it's something I can tell you so much is which he invented in his own kitchen because he was feeding his daughter with it. A very nice new Milo concept. So he won the popular award. This gentleman, plant operation worker, never ever in his whole life was outside of Sarawak. He never ever was on a plane. So we brought him over, put him on the plane, we had to explain to him, you know, somebody had to guide him, you know, well, how do I get on the plane and all that one, first time in KL. And he did his passion and plea and, and he won the prize. So this is only one example that you can see is that the best ideas, and by the way, this is not the only, I can, uh, could tell you stories, the best ideas are not coming from the innovation department or the marketing people. They know nothing, right? <laughs> the best ideas are coming from the people out there uh, in, the, in the field and in the factories. Now I'm showing you now a few innovations which I believe are worth sharing. The first one is, we talked about this inexperiences, right? It's about personalization. Some years ago, Nestle Japan created what they called a KitKat boutique. And the idea is that KitKat was a dead boring product, right? You know, KitKat was basically four fingers, same packaging, etc. And they started to, to invent new flavors and so on and so forth. And they would uh, open a little boutique and uh, they would sell limited edition of Kit Kat green tea or so, and it was doing quite well. So we got this idea and said, look, we actually could, uh, could move this much further. And so what we did is last year, we launched the, we called it the Kit Kat Chocolatory, so like Chocolatory, Choco Factory. And you can go there and each of you has a little gift on your table, uh, different flavors. This is coming from the Kit Kat Chocolate Dory, which is in Mid Valley. So if you have time, please go there. And not only can you buy limited edition of absolutely fabulous Kit Kat, you can create your own Kit Kat. You have to go there, there's a, you know, a iPad, you put in what you want, you can change the, the flavors, full, uh, you know, like, like dark chocolate, white chocolate, all kinds of uh, garnishings here and so on. Packaging, you can write anything for my loved one, for my whatever. So, and there are 10,000 different ways to do your KitKat. 10,000. We're also working uh, to roll it out on a virtual site with, uh, you know, e-tailers like Lazada, 11 Streets. The only problem here is, you know, that obviously Malaysia is a tropic country. How do we guarantee, because it's a very, very sensitive product, that it arrives properly. This is working. So I show you a very short video just to give you an impression.
So this is the KitKat. I'm going to that in a second. Uh, you have some of the different flavors. We change all the time. Every month the flavors change, but you also can create your own. So when we launched it last year, the number one top selling flavor of KitKat was KitKat Nazilemak. <laughs> KitKat Nazilemak. <laughs> you may not know that, or you may, our number flavor, right? Number one flavor, right? You know, this year, not so, not so surprising, durian becomes quite a hit, right? You know, and so on. So you can really create, and uh, what it also is, is it has inspired our whole uh, confectionery department. They are thinking about products which we before never ever imagined because we are learning now what consumers really want. Let me go to another one. We talked about authenticity. It's all about natural, it's about clean label. You know, usually you go around in Malaysia and in many parts of Asia, everything is in, 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 in milk, right? You know, DHL and calcium plus, etc., etc. So we said, look, you know what? Just milk. We don't give you anything else. You want more? Forget it. Go to competition. <laughs> Which is completely different to the traditional marketing approach you have in this part of the world where you want to have everything it, right? You know, and vitamins and I don't know what. No, we just give you milk. So we were very skeptical at the beginning. Will Malaysians pick up on that one? Because they are used and programmed differently. So we launched a, pro a product. It was a huge success. I'm trying to play you now a very, very small video because when we launched it, we also came in a very innovative way. We may stop the video. Well, let's see. Let's play it through, okay? <laughs> reaching 40 next year, so I think my goal is to be healthy and fit. Um, for me, the taste is good, okay, compared to the other brand. Untuk tulang yang kuat, untuk calcium. My family loves just milk. Uh, we have it for bedtime, we have it for breakfast. And I tried it, that's the time I take a picture and I post it on Instagram. It attracted me with the price, the packaging. Very colourful. It's actually in a, in a package, but then you can see a bottle of milk. It's the classic just of milk. Just place your order on Lazada and we deliver with drones. You heard about that one, right? You know, this was obviously uh, a launch uh, gimmick a little bit, but uh, the future. All right, uh, another one, and I'm not showing a video here because we're a little bit running uh, short on time. Uh, Eggy noodles, obviously a huge product in Malaysia. 
And a lot of mothers feel guilty, right? Giving Maggie noodles, you never know what it does, is it, and so all that one. So is that, uh, and also a lot of Maggie noodles are consumed in the morning. So why don't we combine basically, you know, the habit of Maggie noodles with something which is really nice, which is good. So we created the first oat noodles in this region. It gives you Maggie plus the fiber and the oat. <laughs> guilt-free, guilt-free. Now, another one is something which uh, I want also to leave with you. We are not only innovating within our own space, we're working together a lot with people outside. We're working with coffee shop owners and so on and so forth. And we created a program, by the way, this was the last year's winner in the Innovation Award. This is a program which was created here in Malaysia. And uh, what it is, it is that uh, in the good old days, a Nescafe sampling van would come to a university. And uh, they would do the sampling and uh, students would uh, queue for a free cup of um, uh, Nescafe. Now, what we do on average, we would do now 400, 500 cups a day. And then we started to say something which is, look, and when we worked with these uh, co-creators, let's do it differently. Let's put this, we call it pop-up Nescafe uh, uh, stores into university. So pop-up because you can build them up and then you can take them out very fast. And we're not giving you, we don't, we don't give you Nescafe for free anymore. <laughs> you pay for it, right? You really pay for it. But we are going to give you really, really exciting experiences, you know, like the Frappuccinos and all this kind of stuff, caramel lattes. But it's still affordable. It's around 150 to ringgit. Even students can. 400 we gave for free. Now we charge. We have, in average, 1,000 cups in every university, 1,000 cups. And I'm not going because, as I said, we are running short on, on, on time. Is uh, What I wanted to show you video is we are using this, same as uh, the KitKat boutique, for people to develop together with us new Nescafe variants. We launched just a very successful launch, Nescafe Latte. And one of the variants which was very successful when it launched was Nescafe Coconut Latte coconut, you know, <laughs> and uh, what also what happens is that we took the same idea, creating shared value, and we worked with the Ministry of Education, and they said, look, could you not create an entrepreneur program, because we were running this by ourselves so far, you train, we give you some sort of financial support, to establish these uh, this Nescafe shops and you train young entrepreneurs to go out and do these shops in the different universities and they are the entrepreneurs. This year we should reach around 40 of that. The idea is to have more than 100 all over Malaysia. So it's not only great for our brand, beautiful products, but also it creates entrepreneurial jobs for young students around the whole nation. So we're skipping that, and I'm coming now back to people. So we started and we said, how you feel about innovation in, uh, in Nestle? And I think literally Malaysians tend to be very nice people, right? You know, if they think it's really bad, they don't give you really bad, right? No, they give you okay, okay la, right? No? So, and last year we did a, a, a study, we are doing just one a day, and you can see over these years our scores have really gone up. And they are going up to 80 this year. And you know, you seem 70 is maybe, is it really so good? It's, it's huge. It's actually, we compared it with other industries, with overall Malaysia is one of the top, top, top scores. And please do not forget, we are not like a hot little startup or, you know, we're a huge company. So, fantastic results. And this is obviously the base. But more importantly is, when I look at it from a business point of view is, we started, we had average uh, around six successful innovations in 2013 out of 12. The number has gone up close to 30. And what is also impressive, because we are much more closer to consumers, 84% of these launches 
are successful. And successful means they sustain at least three years and achieve a certain number of turnover and so on. And this is, every time I see this, I'm absolutely delighted. Our company has a turnover of over 5 billion Malaysian ringgit. That is including the export. Locally, we have around 4 billion. Today, 10%, 10% of our turnover is coming from new products innovation. That's huge. 400 million is the size of a lot of Malaysian companies in that space. That's what we create every year. And the other one is when you go back and when you look how MNCs usually innovate, I can tell you if you get a new product within 12 months, you are perceived to be a Formula One racer, right? Today, and uh, the video would have shown you that one, today we innovate products, even in the more complicated space like Nescafe, within 100 days from idea to being in the store, 100 days. That's not every day. We not always do that. We don't always do like this. But if we need it, we have done it in 100 days. Average, it has come down to around six months. So there's a lot of good stories. So to conclude a little bit, in Nestle Malaysia, we believe that everybody, the plant operator, the sales rep, the secretary, everybody can actually innovate. Everybody can contribute to our purpose. If there's a purpose, people will basically make the very, very best out of it. I also dare to say that today we have become what I call an innovation machine in our industry. Please always take us in relation to the industry we are in. In our industry, we are by far the most innovative company, not only within the Malaysian space, but we benchmark ourselves also with Nestle companies around the globe. Every year in our zone, our zone is the zone of Asia, Africa, Australasia, and it's, I don't know how many hundred markets are participating. We are, we, Malaysia, are the top contributor of new products for the group. With that one, I wish you a very remainder, a very good remainder of the rest of the day. I do hope you have enjoyed my presentation. I hope I brought in, you know, an HR dimension and also purpose to innovation. Thank you very much. Dermakase.